NFT games failed. And while it's kind of obvious now, uh, there's two takeaways you can take from this that are always important to kind of keep in the back of your head. Now, why did NFT games fail? Because, I mean, there's the proposition of like, hey, you earn money while you play your game. I mean, there's a point where I played PUBG so much early on that it would actually sell items in the game uh, and make like 50 bucks a week or something. But I didn't care about the items, right? I really wasn't trying. Um, but it also wasn't the focus of it. Um, but so then they started saying, well, oh, you're going to be able to own your item in the game and move it to other games. First of all, that is never going to happen. Zero times has that ever happened in a real game. Because even when you work at the same company, let's say at Valve, if we wanted to move something from Half-Life into the Left 4 Dead series, we recreated it. We just didn't move that assets because it's not about the um, physical mesh itself, right? That's the easiest part of it. The much harder part of it is like the materials and everything else and shaders. And then the really hard part is there's no agreed upon, hey, this uh, shotgun does 100 damage, right? It's it's in reference to everything else in the world. So sometimes you'll amp it up and it's just really about like how many times does it take to kill this enemy versus this enemy. And that's what you care about, right? Like in the Anacrusis, we care about, hey, when the brute comes, we want you to have to concentrate on it and multiple people shoot at it so that damage can't be so high and its health has to be high, right? So it just never was going to work. I mean, it, and then the whole NFT world is a bunch of scams. I mean, probably because NFTs are a scam, I'll stand by that. They are a scam. Uh, but you saw a lot of rug pulls where people made all this promise, and if you invested, and you know, next board ape, and then they would yank all the money out. And then there's just no value in the underlying asset to begin with. I mean, the, that one guy, I forget his name, who's going to make some kind of IP off of his board ape. Oh my God, finally I can make a TV show off of a bad piece of art? Like, that is how, that is how just intellectually just empty you are, that you have no creativity past somebody else's art, like it's all crap, right? And so then you look and go, okay, the biggest NFT game was Access Affinity. And Access Infinity's success is, this is literally the prices that they looked at and said, um, the game's not fun to play. So you can take, you can buy your account, which costs tens of thousands of dollars, uh, and then you can let somebody else play it and they can earn money. And then you can just make a little bit of off money off of that. But the game had to earn that person playing enough money to make more than a Filipino cab driver could make. That's literally their, their, how they thought of it, right? Is like, if the Filipino cab drivers can't play this game instead of driving a cab, our game's going to sink. And you literally can see if there's, a, there's a point where the game took off, and they could. And then once it went under, the game went under. And maybe it still exists. I don't get it. I don't care. Uh, but like... That was it, right? It's like, take somebody who's got a depressed uh, income stream, and if you can match that, then they'll play this game. But they're not playing your game because it's fun. And that's kind of where we get the the two things um, that you can probably take away from this, is uh, your game has to be fun. Just need a good game. No matter what your high concept is, no matter what your story is, no matter what anything around it is, it's got to be fun. It's got to be something engaging, some reason why people want to interact with it. I assume there's some walking simulators and stuff that it's all about the story and some other, but generally, if you're going to have gameplay in it, it has to have fun gameplay. It has to have something compelling. It can't be so bad that you hire other people to play it for you. Um, and then the other is you cannot will a market into existence. Um, this you see again and again and again. Um, you simply can't be like, we're going to throw so much money at this, everyone's going to love it. Look at... Look at um, Meta, Facebook, in VR. They haven't been able to will that into existence, right? It's still a very niche niche uh, kind of uh, experience, right? So it just doesn't matter. You can't, people aren't stupid. This is the weird thing, right? Like individually, people are morons. Uh, I mean, I'm saying, I, if somebody likes those Wendy's ads, uh, they play during football, we cannot be friends because you are a moron. Uh, but like, Individually, people can, maybe there's somebody in the world who likes those Wendy ads. I really doubt it. But, okay. but, but as a whole, we're really smart. And so we're really smart of like, you have to have a good gameplay. You can't will things into existence. So don't think you can like hoodwink somebody or just like, I can get you to like me by making these videos and we can be best of friends. It's not going to mean you're going to play my game if it's not a good game. It's a good game. Right, but like you have to always think that way. You always have to think from zero that you actually have to do the work. You have to present, you have to care about that experience that's happening because that's all that at the end of the day is we make games that people care about and you need to pull that off, right? And that's sometimes when we talk about games and you know, and people are like, oh, you're a writer, so you really like story and games. I'm like, man, a lot of times I just kind of skip through it because I really care about the gameplay. So I try to meld the two together and have the same happen. 
I don't know, right? That's what I try for. Um, but yeah, so like, remember that, right? There's, think about the billions of dollars, billions with a B, that went into NFT gaming. And what, what are we gonna get out of it? Nothing, nothing. Sure, some people made some money by scamming people. You don't wanna scam people, you wanna make money honestly. So, <sighs> and then I, I've been in investment meetings where I got told to make NFT games, that it was the future, and somebody who's giving me money was so sure. So I guess that's the third thing, stick to your guns. I mean, we may fail just as much as an NFT game, but at least we fail on our terms and not making some stupid bored ape game.